Hey everybody, we've got Fan Mail Friday live tonight. Um, hopefully everyone is having a great Friday evening. We're going to do a little something different today. Um, in addition to just opening these up and seeing what people sent and reading through the notes that people include, we're going to be giving some of the cards away live and you know just do some trivia so you guys in the live chat can win some stuff. And I have my wife over there on the computer. Um, huh? Oh, Dante's in the ER. Well, yeah, hopefully everything goes okay, Dante. But what we'll be doing is I'll just have you send her an e email and then I will just give her the card and she's going to do up the little package and throw it in there and I can just throw it in the mail tomorrow so that way it doesn't get all backed up. Hey, Amessa Things with a $2 super chat. Thank you very much, Amessa Things. He says, hey, everybody. And, uh, very nice. Thank you for that super chat, and I hope you check out A Mess of Things channel. So let's get right to it. This first one is from D. Phillips. Let's check out what we have here in this. This is a pretty heavy one. Um, you can tell because the postage on here is $19. Let's see what we have. I'll be there. We have some, uh, not Pirates, we have some baseball magazines, 1989 with Oral Hershiser on the front. That is pretty cool. Baseball Today. I don't think I ever read this one, but it'll be cool to go back and kind of like relive some of the, uh, oh, this is nice. It has like season preview for 89. So in 89, the, the two top teams were the Giants and the A's. Let's see if they have them pegged. Um, I wonder if they have their projections in here. That's something that... I'll, oh, they do have projections. Let's see how they had the A's in 89. Oakland Athletics. They had them picked to finish in first place. So this seems to be a pretty good source of information. We also have this baseball yearbook from 1988 with Don Mattingly on the front. That's pretty awesome. Playball, 1988 home schedules. This was the year before I got into baseball. Uh, 1989 is when I really got into baseball big time and following every game on the radio as we didn't have cable. So that's really, really awesome. Very nice. Let's see what else we have in here. We have some, looks like some cards. We got something for Olivia. I don't know if she's down here or not. She was sneaking around even though she's supposed to be upstairs. Got something for her. We have another book, Baseball Shorts, 1000 a thousand of the game's funniest one line liners. Ninety percent of the game is half mental. I believe Yogi said that one. I'm sure a bunch of these are probably from Yogi Berra. Hit them where they ain't in the outfield. Fly balls are my only weakness. The average age of our bench is deceased. So, really cool stuff here. Can read through that stuff. Very nice, nice book. Thank you for that. Another teammates. And, uh, oh, there's some more Teeny Mates coming out. So, Livy, you got lots of Teeny Mates for your collection. Livy loves these things. What do you say? Thank you. There's $1.99 from Rustic Cards. Thank you very much. DC fan Chris, how's it going? All right, let's check out this note. This is from David. The D stands for David. It says, first off, I want to tell you thank you for your great channel and the vast amount of baseball knowledge you have. Uh, I've been meaning to mail this out to you for a few weeks, but you know how life gets busy. I, I definitely know that. I'm weeks behind in sending stuff back. My name is David, and I'm around your age, and I've been collecting for some time now. My collection is not too large, but not too small. Tony Gwynn is the man, or is my man. I'm also one of your Patreons. It's always nice getting a small package of cards every month. I hope you enjoy this package. Keep what you like and give the rest away. That's awesome. That's what we'll do. Uh, thank you very much, David, for the uh, cool magazines and book. And uh, thank you for being a Patreon patron. We're going to look through these cards, and then I'll tell you what. I'll give uh, start giving a couple of them away right now live. I think that'll be a pretty cool little thing to do on Fan Mail Fridays Live. Tony Gwynn was also one of my favorites. Almost caught a foul ball of his back in, like, I don't know, 89 or 90, Three River Stadium. It was the closest I ever came to a foul ball for many, many years until I was uh, older and got the hang of it. All right, so here's the cards. I just have to uh, 
get them open there. Wrapped up very well. All right, we've got some Pirates cards on the top. Looks like a Pirates team bag from 2014. I know a lot of you folks probably aren't into Pirates players, so I, I doubt I'll give any of these away. Um, unless there's like a good rookie card in there, like a, maybe like a Barry Bonds 87 or something that you guys would be interested in. There's a Central Florida Pickers with a $2 Super Chat. Said, did you ever pull an Elite Series back in the day? Yes, I did. An Elite Series, I think it was 92 Donruss, Fred McGriff. Um, that was the only one I ever pulled, and it's a really tough pull, um, Elite, out of Donruss. I think it's roughly one in every three cases. Three cases of 60 boxes. That's a nice one. Andrew McCutcheon, rookie card, top prospect. I don't have that one. Another Bowman card of Andrew McCutcheon. Very nice looking cards right there. Let's see what we have here. Some more buckos. If I can get it open. We have a $1.99 from Jed Lockett 52 says announcing HCAC softball attorney saying hello. Thank you, Jed Lockett 52. And also D Porter with a $10 super chat says, Hope everyone has a great weekend. Thank you very much for those two super chats. Uh, I hope you guys will all check out um, those two channels. Thank you very much. Austin Meadows is a really good rookie car. Let's give that one away. And um, let's see what else we have here. Oh, this is a this is the best pitcher in baseball right now. Tyler Glass now with a one point something earned run average, going for his. I don't know if he's pitching tonight or tomorrow, but he's going for his sixth win. Um, best pitcher right now, statistically speaking, in baseball. Tyler Glass now. We traded him away um, for Chris Archer along with some other guys. That one is. That's a sweet card. It's a relic and an auto. That's a rookie card. Very, very nice. He's pitching tonight, so he's going for the win tonight. Going for that sixth win. And what do we have in here? I'll give at least one or two cards away. There's a $2 super chat from Frank Baez. It says, Rangers Nation checking in. Thank you very much. Whoa, Andy Van Slyke autograph. 1988 Topps design. Check that one out. This is the regular 88 Tops. This one, it's a photo variation um, made by the archives. You can see it looks a little bit different. The, the lettering's a little bit different on the top. That's pretty cool. I never, ever saw this card before. I love this card. There's a $1.99 Super Chat from Darren Comfort. Darren is my top Patreon patron. I just sent him two packages. He might be doing an unboxing video. Um, so... Check his channel out. Thank you, Darren. And let's start this giveaway so we can show you how this works. I'm going to give away this Austin Meadows rookie card out of that pack. Austin Meadows is uh, one of the top uh, young players on the Rays team. He was doing very, very well until an injury popped up, but he'll be back soon. So if you want to win this Topps Gallery card, all you have to do is simply answer a question correctly in the chat. If you get the question right, I will give you an email address. All you have to do is just send your address to my wife. Uh, she's on that email right now. Um, and then she will, I got a stack of envelopes over there. She's going to fill out the envelopes. I'm going to give her the card. She's going to put the card in the envelope. And then all I have to do is slap a stamp on there and take it to the post office tomorrow. So that way it doesn't really take away any time from me trying to catch up on my fan mail and my breaks, which takes up pretty much all of my time. So it's like um, autographs and stuff, but we'll start off with this one. Uh, first question, if you want this card, you don't have to. Simple question. Um, how many Nolan Ryans did we pull out of the 1980 Tops box last night? How many Nolan Ryan cards did we pull? Total number. The correct answer is John Jacobson with three. We pulled two regulars, and also there's a Nolan Ryan on a team leader's card. John Jacobson, here you go. You won this card. John Jacobson, it's pretty easy to remember. JabsFamilyGiveaways.com. Just go to JabsFamilyGiveaways.com and simply uh, give your address to my wife, John Jacobson. I'm not writing on your card. I'm just um, putting this on there so my wife knows who you are. You won the Austin News. And um, that's how it'll go. It'll go pretty quick. There's other things before, right? There was? Yeah, that's fine. First of all, 953.
I might have to make the questions harder. Jason F. Okay. See? How come yours is different than mine? I don't know. That's why I'm confused. I don't even see Jacob's. Oh, yeah. I guess it is Jason F. So sorry about that, John. It's Jason F. Jason F., you won. So Jason F., here you go. That's the way it goes. We're going to have to go by this. This is what we're going to have to go by. It's the official uh, laptop version. You can see right there, Jason F. with the three. He's the first one as I scroll down. Um, I'm just going to put my wife in charge. She can tell me who won. So I thought it was uh, John, but my wife overruled me, and she is in charge of this. So Jason, send, send the here, – here's the card. All right, next package. I don't want that giveaway to take up too much time. So – Next up, this is from Chase Jackson. Chase Jackson is sending us something from, uh, I don't want to show his address, Missouri. Missouri, let's check it out. Inside of here, we have some packs of cards, which I'll pick something out of here to give away from each package. Oh, check that out. There's a Juan Gone, it looks like, in there. Juan Gonzalez. Lots of cards in here. Let's check this note out. Let me make sure his address is in here, first of all. Okay, we're good. It says, Hi, my name's Chase. I'm 22 years old, and I love watching your channel. I'm a huge Cardinals fan. I've started making some YouTube videos to showcase my Cardinals collection. My name is Triple C Memorabilia, so Triple C Memorabilia. I hope you enjoy these cards I've sent. I love your flea market videos and your Throwback Thursday box openings. If you send anything back, I collect Cardinals. That includes new stuff, vintage autos, and relics. It says, God bless Chase. What? Well, we have a problem with you doing this email stuff because the only email that I got is from Nate Kelly, which is not Jason F. If it's not from Jason F, then ignore it. All right, so let's see what we have here. We got Bagwell, Manny Machado. Uh, we got George Brett, Mike Trout, Garrett Cole, Tyler Glass now. Again, one of the top uh, rookies around. Josh Bell again. Yvonne Nova. Alex Rodriguez is a nice one. Mike Trout, all-star card. Chipper Jones, gold label. This is the old gold label. Vladimir Guerrero. Sammy Sosa, Yvonne Rodriguez. Wow, check this out. This looks like a uh, Japanese A-Rod card. Kyle Ripken Jr., 2,632 consecutive games played. That's a nice one. Evan Longoria rookie card. How about that one? Evan Longoria rookie card. 2,008 tops. That is sweet. Thank you for that. That's a good one. Evan Longoria's career is winding down, but he's been a consistent star. And then we have... A graded card from our good old friends at BCCG, uh, Mint or Better. These are the same cards that we saw coming out of those uh, Gems of the Game boxes. Um, unfortunately for us, it was all Phillies cards, so this is nice to get something different. This is what I wish would have been coming out of those boxes. Different cards. Like I wouldn't mind getting a Juan Gonzalez out of one of those boxes, but I really don't care for, like, 2000, like, I don't know, like, Early to late 2000s are just not up my era or not in my area at all. So I like this one a lot better than what came out of those boxes. So thank you for that. Awesome. All right, next pack we have Ichiro, uh, Mike Trout. We have a talent pipeline there from Bowman with Tatis on there, Chance Cisco, Sam Hilliard, Byron Buxton. Out of 99, Ian Anderson, Victor Robles, Francisco Mejia, there's a Raphael Devers, Nick Kingham, Daniel Norris, Andrew McCutcheon, that's a nice one, Raphael Devers, Mickey Mantle, here's a rookie card of Roy Oswalt, that's a pretty cool one, I don't think I have that one, and we got Tyler Glass now, what else do we have here, let's take out some... There's a Puig rookie card. I like that one a lot. Yasiel Puig. He's having a rough season this year with the Reds. Pretty much the entire Reds offense has been kind of 
stalled. So they called up Nick Senzel today. Mike Trout Masterpiece. That's a beautiful card. Some more Pirates cards. Uh, and then we have these cards here in, it looks like they are top loaders. Um, all top load cards. Ken Griffey Jr. It's a commemorative patch card. We have a bat relic, a quadruple bat relic featuring Frank Thomas, Hall of Famer Frank Thomas. That's a nice one. Then we have, what's this one? Madison Bumgarner manufactured patch. Oh, wow. Robinson Cano rookie card. I don't have this one. That's a very nice one. Robbie Cano from 2003 Tops. I do not have this one at all. I always wanted this card, so thank you. That's my favorite card so far. Definitely needed that one for the personal collection. Bobby Bonilla, 86 Tops traded rookie card. We got a Manny Ramirez rookie of the year card. Garrett Cole numbered card out of 99 from Diamond Kings. A Francisco Liriano. Uh, numbered out of 397. Some very nice stuff in there. Chipper Jones, one of those 95 studio cards, which look like credit cards for some reason. Then we have a Chipper Jones, Ryan Braun rookie card, 2006 tops. That's a nice one. I definitely needed that one. We got a Josh Hamilton, um, star rookie, Aramos Ramirez, and also a David Price rookie card. So. Let's give away a couple of these cards now. Thank you very much for those cards. That's a very, very nice fan mail package, Chase. Appreciate that. Um, I don't know. Let's just do it all. Let's do a little package here. Package deal. Let's give you uh, give you a David Price rookie card because I have that one already. I don't have the Longoria. Let's also give you guys... Well, I don't know. Which, what else do you guys want in here? I'm gonna give probably away like four or five rookie cards out of that. Ones that I already have. Once my wife gets back down here, she ran upstairs because the kids were crying. We'll toss in a Francisco Mejia rookie. And what else do you guys want here? Ra I'm trying to figure out why Jason Ra Raphael Devers. That's up to you. I like. I don't want anything. I don't want anything to do with it. Like yeah, I can't stop. He said and, up there that he he doesn't want to give it to the first person that he thought wanted. But like the only person who contacted me. And Tyler Glass now. So those are the four I'm going to give away right now. Why Why are you making this like this isn't working? Because I don't even have the first person. All right. So the question was. A super chat from Lucas Fitzpatrick says, can I get a baseball card from you from any team? Um, that's a pretty general request, Lucas. I'll tell you what I'll do. Send my wife an email right now, jabsfamilygiveaways at gmail.com with your name and address, and you can have this Evan Longoria rookie card. I'll put that your name on that one, and there you go. Card from any team, Lucas throw that in your stack all right so these four rookie cards will give away out of that package just let me get situated here all right let's uh think of a harder question for you guys all right um let me think here looking through some of my videos um i will just do this one i'm just scrolling through this video right here world's greatest um card chase we won that um redemption your question is what is the first name of the person that won that redemption we made a big deal out of it what is the first name here's the answer for my wife all right well i'm just gonna have to go off of what i see i guess when a bunch when there's like 50 million ones that come up first um, I see it right here. It's Paul Lilko has the answer, right? It's Kyle, Paul Lilko. You are the winner of these. Paul Lilko. His name was Kyle. Paul Lilko, congratulations on winning that rookie pack. I'll put those there. Send my wife that email address. Kyle was the winner. All right, next fan mail package. We have, um, I don't know, the address is kind of like obscured here, so I don't know who this is from. Um, but looks like they're from Pennsylvania, which is pretty cool. 
let's get this open. I'm gonna open it off camera just to make sure that there's nothing. Whoops. All right, in here we have, wow, this is pretty cool. There's a large photo in here of Jalapena Hannah, and it's signed personalized to Olivia. That's pretty cool. This was signed by 5813. <laughs> this was signed, looks like it was signed in uh, 2013 for someone named Olivia. That works out. Uh, let's check it out. This says, from one teacher uh, and Patreon to your channel to another, hello. I collected a lot when I was a kid and have recently introduced my two young sons, four and two, to collecting. They love opening packs, even though they only look for pirates. One of the coolest things I've ever done when it comes to the pirates was running the pierogi race on May 8th, 2013. I took a group of students from my school on that day, and they saw me run as Hannah and win. Below is a link to the video. Enclosed for Olivia is a signed 8x10 of me crossing the finish line that day. I hope she gets a chuckle out of it. Say Goodbye is still the greatest DMB song of all time, and I hope you survived the last few weeks of school. I'm feeling your pain, Chad81. Thank you very much. Very, very nice. Um, so that is personalized for Olivia. I thought that maybe that you just got that signed on 518 to, to someone named Olivia. And... Uh, was passing along, but that is actually for Olivia, so she will definitely get a kick out of that one. You know, little kids definitely love Jalapena Hannah a lot, so she will like that one. And inside, we have Pokemon cards for Olivia, so she, I think she went to bed, so that's a very nice package. All that stuff is for her. I'll put that aside, and... Um, Thank you very much, Chad. I should probably make a pile for her. So when she comes downstairs tomorrow, she'll get super excited to find that stuff. They're right here. I put their names on them. Paul gets four of them. There's a $5 super chat from I Collect Baseball 1986 says, I love your channel, Eric. Thank you for everything. Thank you, I Collect Baseball 1986. Hopefully everyone will go and sub to um, that channel and give them some support. And um, nothing really to give away out of there, so let's move along to the next one. This is a, uh, a pretty good channel right here. Speaking of good channels, Scott S. You might remember Scott S. has Reindeer Studios as his channel, and uh, he sent us the 1960 Tops uh, Pirates team set in a personalized binder um, I don't know a couple weeks ago and we have a two dollar super chat from Chris Mania says Gary Sanchez hit two home runs today Yankees Nation thank you very much Chris appreciate it Paul, uh, Paul here you go it's pretty easy jabs family giveaways at gmail.com um, my wife is over there with the cards that you won and she'll take care of that Still working this uh, system out. Chad, thank you. All right, let's see what we have in here. As always, I'll take that note and make sure that there's no addresses in there because usually about, I don't know, 20% of the time, people just out of habit put their return addresses in the envelope. So let's check this out first. All right, so it says, thanks again for helping me get to over 100 subs. Here's another exciting round of Name That Hall of Famer. Scott, I love this game. Thank you very much. Scott has a bunch of cool hints, and um, we're going to see if we can get this right. Um, and we also have a $2 super chat from DMC Sports. It says, I'm hoping to get to 200 subs tonight. Go jab. So everyone check out DMC Sports. Thank you very much. And Scott, thank you for this. For um, This is a fun game, so here we go. And um, let's see if you guys can get these ones. Here's the first hint. 
Number one, I'm not a Hall of Famer yet. Okay, so yet. So he's a, obviously a star. So automatically I start thinking of guys like Albert Pujols or Mike Trout or Clayton Kershaw or Joey Votto or Yachty Molina. Somebody that's going to get in there eventually. Or maybe, yeah, Bonds, Clemens, someone that could already be retired and just waiting um, for their uh, to be voted in or their eligibility to uh, get to five years out of the game. But I hope to be soon. In the meantime, I'll settle for managing the Birmingham Barons. All right, this is a, this is a tough one because I know nothing about the Birmingham Barons at all. Um, someone said Chase Utley, John Watham. I he's probably out of it. Seeing Tito Francona, that's obviously wrong. I don't think David Ortiz is. Don Mattingly. Seeing a couple uh, poppy ones, David Ortiz. I don't think Chase Utley is Hall of Fame worthy though. Like when I think a. Uh, I could see Paul Konerko possibly being in the Hall of Fame someday. Uh, Vizquel, yeah. Omar Vizquel, I could see him. So let's see who it is. I literally have no idea. Birmingham Barons, are they still associated with the White Sox? Seeing a couple people say Vizquel, so I'll get with you guys and say Vizquel. Seeing a few Ortiz ones, and the correct answer is, it's Omar Vizquel, it's his rookie card. That is a nice one. Very, very nice. Omar Vizquel, 1989, Tops traded. Uh, my wife is not at the computer, so I don't know who said Omar Vizquel first. So I'm just, she's taking care of the, the kids, but very nice. A uh, few people said Omar Vizquel, actually a lot of people. Can you see who said Omar Vizquel first and let me know? V-I-Z-Q-U-E-L Vizquel. So we'll give that one to whoever said that one first. I'm just gonna let my wife uh, be the official judge. Whoever she tells me gets the card. It's an Omar Vizquel rookie card. He had a great career. Just came up short of 3,000 career hits, but was one of the greatest fielding shortstops of all time. He's right there with Ozzie Smith. I think Ozzie Smith was a little bit better, but Vizquel had just fantastic range and um, just the best shortstop probably throughout the 90s by far in early 2000s. So thank you, Scott, for that one. That's a fun game. Hopefully I can get one of these. Um... I think I might have said Vizquel, but somebody else said it first. All right, so Vizquel. All right, next up. Do you have a winner for that one? All right, while my wife figures that one out, um, number two, it says, I was the first overall pick in the 1977 draft, and I hold the record for the latest walk-off home run inning-wise. The 25th game, or 25th inning of a game in 1984. Mateo says Harold Baines, Bob Horner. See, Dale Murray. I don't think it was Murray because his rookie card was in 77, so I think he was already in the Braves organization. I'm seeing Harold Baines. Um, looks like the first person there is Mateo Arenas. I'm going to go with Harold Baines also. So if you're right... Um, it looks like Mateo Arenas. I'm just looking on my phone, which doesn't show me probably all of them. My wife is still looking for the Omar Vizquel. It's a Harold Baines rookie card, 1981 tops. Very, very nice. Love that one. And um, I'm just going to have to go with um, Mateo wins this one, Mateo Arenas, because he's the first one I saw. I can't get any assistance on this one. Did you find the winner of that Vizquel yet? So send Mateo, send a uh, uh, email with your name and address, and you get a Harold Baines 1981 Tops rookie card. Very nice. Love this game, um, Scott. By the way, make sure you go and um, check out Scott's channel, Reindeer Studios. Uh, I think it was in his note, but it's pretty easy. Reindeer, you know, like R-E-I-N-D-E-E-R, -E -E like for Santa Claus and stuff, but... All right, here we go. The last one. People are saying W. Vogs got it first. Is that true? We can't do these live giveaways if we can't, like, have you tell me who got it first. This, I, I really don't like the dead time in between. This this is the one I see first, but, like, you can go back. It keeps skipping, so I don't know if that's the first one or not. Vogs was the first one I saw, and they 
Then I saw that, and I'm not sure because your computer is messed up. Okay, it is WVOGS. WVOGS, you won that Viscale, so just send my wife email with your name and address, and congratulations, WVOGS. Uh, you won that one. All right, here is the last one. It says, I successfully sued the LAPD who profiled and detained me as a drug courier at the LA International Airport in 1988. I was never formally charged for the 689 bases I stole throughout my career. That's a lot of bags. Um, that's a cool hint. So obviously somebody that ran a lot. It wasn't Ricky Henderson because Henderson had too many. I would guess I'm right here, so. 1988. Daryl Strawberry sounds like a good guess to me. So um, I'm going to go with Strawberry. Definitely Don, Don Mattingly. He never stole that many bags. Um, Tony Gwynn. I don't think Tony Gwynn had that many steals. Jose Canseco didn't have that many steals because he slowed down. I'm going to have to go with Daryl Strawberry, which I see it looks like Chet was first, but we'll see who it actually was. The correct answer, Joe Morgan rookie card. I Sorry, guys, I can't give this one away. Joe Morgan rookie card. I need this for my personal collection. Holy cow. 1965 rookie stars. I was just talking about this one out at the flea market the other day. Joe Morgan rookie card. That is crazy. Thank you very much, Scott. I mean, the cards just kept getting better and better. We had a, I don't have a scale worth a couple bucks. Harold Baines worth, I think that book's for like eight bucks now or something like that. And then finish it off with a Joe Morgan rookie card. Um, that is really, really good. Thank you for that one. Um, looks like Jackson Defoe had this one right, but he spelled it Joe Morgan, but we'll give it to you. But I can't give you this card. I'll give you a consolation prize though. Um, I don't know. Let's give you a, how about an Andrew McCutcheon rookie card, which is still worth like eight bucks or so. So I'm going to just Give this one to the person because I feel bad that I I can't give that card away. I need that one. Um, I'd probably be regretting it if I gave it away. So the first person that said Joe Morgan, they actually spelled it Joe Morgan. Um, let me find your name again. Did you see who got that one? No, I'm writing down Paul's address right now because he doesn't even know. Oh. You don't have to do the addresses right away. It probably would be more helpful if you could just keep up with telling me who it's won. It's not helpful because it keeps, everyone's sending tons of emails, so it keeps going away. I'm trying to like scroll through and find the Joe Morgan. Uh, we have a. Did I miss a super chat? Yes, you did. I'm trying. Four ninety nine. Lucas Fitzpatrick says, "You do you have a raised baseball card that's autographed that I can have?" And did you get the email? That's up to my wife. I think she got your email. Okay. Thank you for that super chat, Lucas Fitzpatrick. And um, I can't find who said the Joe Morgan one. So this is really hard. I really need you to like. I really need you to tell me who. Just tell me who's, who spelled Joe Morgan wrong. They spelled like Joe Margon or something like that. Whoever said that gets that one. I can't find it. There's way too many messages going up. And we have a Donald B. Super Chat says, Cool hit. Shout out from Hall of Fame veteran sports cards. Thank you very much, Donald B. For that Super Chat. I hope everyone will check out their channel. And now if... Olivia's down here crying, so this is chaos now. Why are you crying? Yeah, you forget that I'm dealing with four kids. We're gonna. I think it's a little dragonfly. My room is like bigger than this big, and it's like it's really skinny. Like there's a dragonfly in your room. No, this is really big. So there's a big dragonfly in your room. All right. Um, Jackson. We have a two dollars super chat from a mess of things. Two lines under the previous super chat. Jackson Dafo was the first one to spell it wrong. Jackson Dafo, thank you very much for that. Jackson Dafo. So Jackson, you won that card. Just uh, send my wife an email and she'll get that card sent for you. The super chat really helped out. And uh, we're dealing with a big problem here. Olivia's crying because there's a dragonfly. Olivia, why don't you go sleep in EJ's room? Okay. Is that okay? All right, my wife's going to go kill that dragonfly, so I just lost my assistant. So that'll be a good time to do a giant one. It's going to take a while to go through before getting to the next giveaway. This thing weighs about 100 pounds. I'm not, probably not 100.
pounder. I think the minimum that you can do, or the maximum that you can do is 70 pounds, but this thing is heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. It is a huge, large-sized um, priority mail box. And uh, this one is from Anthony. So, uh, Anthony, thank you very much. Um, looks like the mailman had some fun with this one. I don't know if they were playing soccer with it or what, but it definitely uh, had some wear and tear. You can see the entire uh, left-hand side is um, busted open, but luckily it looks like most of the contents are still intact. Let's uh, open this up. Someone said, don't kill the dragonfly, but um, it's either that or my daughter's not going to sleep and cry all night, so I'll have to do the lesser of two evils there. Dragonfly's going to have to go. All right, so I'm trying to cut this open here. Let's see what we got. Big box of cards. Anthony, thank you once again for this. Anthony is here. He said, uh, when he saw the condition of the box. Let's show you what's inside. We have, we're not going to have time to go through all of these. A bunch of cards from the 80s and 90s. I see 89 Fleer, 91 Donruss, 88 Tops, 89 Donruss. Looks like some 93 Ultra, some 91 Fleer. Lots and lots of cards from the 90s. So let's check these out. Uh, check out the list. And then we'll dig through these. It says, I hope this note finds you well. In this box, you'll find lots of random baseball cards from years of collecting. I hope there are some good cards in there. If you could, any trout card you can part with would be greatly appreciated. Keep up the hard work on your videos, and I will continue to be a fan. It's, and he says, fellow uh, cancer survivor, Anthony. So, Anthony, thank you very much for all these cards. I don't think we have time to go through all of them right now, but I can grab a stack so you guys can kind of get an idea of what's in here. Can you tell them to just calm down? It wasn't a dragonfly. It was a wasp. Oh, it was a wasp. So, it was a wasp. They're saying don't kill all the dragonflies. All right. So, here is uh, some of the cards. we got 88 tops in here. And there's some good ones, uh, like... Tim Raines mixed in. Ryan Sandberg. I'll, I'll pick out a couple good ones. We'll do a quick giveaway from these. Ryan Sandberg is a Hall of Famer. Let's try to get a... Uh, Harold Baines is not really worth that much. So I don't know if that would be worthy of giving away. It'd be nice if there was like a uh, rookie card from the 89 Fleers. Let's just do... Um, are you all caught up over there? Oh, Gary Sheffield rookie card. Okay, we'll give that one away. 89 Fleer. Looks like Mike Jeffcoat He's saw like some better days. Yeah, his cards are over here. Here's all the these cards. My wife's going to work on those now. Dogs. All three of them are there. That was really awesome from Scott. Scott is the man. I hope you all take a second and go to Reindeer Studios and subscribe. Digging through here. Oh, here we go. Here's some good ones. You guys are probably more into this stuff. Nobody really likes the uh, junk wax cards that much, but these are the ones that people like. How about a Clayton Kershaw 84 tops? That is a sweet one. We got 2019 cards here. Let's find a, another good one and make a package out of it. And uh, this is very nice. I love 2019 tops. Let me try to find another card. It's a rainbow card. Oh, Ricky Henderson 80 tops. Pops rookie car. Let's give that one away. So, um, Ozzy Smith 84. Let's do a quick giveaway of these. Uh, we don't. I'll tell you when um, when I'm ready to go, so you can help me find the answer. I could make an entire video about this box. You're right. This would probably take me. Uh, um, it looks like you probably have about eight. I don't know, six to eight wax boxes worth of cards in here. I know it's a reprint. It's cards your mom's threw out or iconic cards, but it's still cool to have. This would probably take me, usually takes me about 20 minutes to go through a wax box. So this would definitely be over an hour video right here. So really, really cool stuff from Anthony. Thank you very much. Um, this box will definitely come in handy as um, I try to fulfill uh, fan requests. I'm going to ask Jackson to reset his address, but actually put the state in the zip code. Yeah, Jackson, you got to send your whole address. You didn't send the state or the zip code. Um, just try to make it easy on my wife, please, by sending your entire address so she doesn't have to go Googling and stuff. 
I know I have to do that sometimes. I have to do that sometimes. Like people will write their address so sloppy I can't read it. And I have to like do a bunch of research to figure out like who, like where the heck they live. It's really kind of frustrating. All right, so we're gonna give away a little package here. These four, we got a Ricky Henderson 1980 Tops uh, iconic card from 2019 Tops, a 1984-2019 Clayton Kershaw, a Ryan Sandberg 88 Tops, which we pulled out of the uh, 88, and also a Gary Sheffield rookie card. We'll do these four. We'll just toss them in an envelope. I'll put an extra ounce stamp on there. Um, that's what you have to do. Whenever you send more than like one card, you, you better put an extra ounce stamp on it and make it non-machinable. All these will be marked non-machinable so they don't get torn apart. So, all right, I don't. let me find another quick trivia question. Tell my wife to get ready. Are you ready? All I need you to do is watch the screen and tell me the winner, okay? Um, maybe you can come over and I can whisper it to you. <laughs> yeah, I just I'm I'm scrolling through and I'm trying to find a video to do a question about, uh, so we can Why don't you reward. I would know. <laughs> reward those of you that are longtime watchers. Let's see here. Um, I, I want to make it general enough that you can get it. I don't want to make it like, like super hard. Let's see here. I guess we'll do a recent one. What? All right, let's, this is an easy one. I don't know if you watched this one. I hope you did because it was a fun video to make. It's a video about my brother and I playing wiffle ball. Uh, we played a wiffle ball home run derby in the backyard, faced off one versus one to see who would get the first pick in the wiffle ball Wednesday draft whenever we do that. And I'm going to write down the answer so my wife can see. Here's the answer. Look for that. Yeah. All right. So the question is, how many... Total home runs combined did we hit? That's all. Total home runs combined. I'm seeing a lot of people guessing the question ahead of time by saying my brother. Yeah. How many total home runs combined? Oh wait, wait, oh my God, I can't even see <laughs> My wife said there's about a thousand comments just came up. Oh, John. John Penfold. John Penfold got it? Yeah. John Penfold got it. Okay. 16. 16 was the answer. John Penfold, according to my wife. So I'm going to put these cards in a little holder for you. The answer was 16. My brother, I don't know how to spell your name because I didn't see it come up on mine because John Penfold. You're the winner of that little package of rookie cards there. And uh, all you have to do is send Jabs Family Giveaways at gmail.com. Yeah, Zach Campbell caught them off. He was there. He probably would have. My brother hit 11. I hit five. My brother went off and then throw the ball up to yourself round. And I think he hit like six or seven in a row. And I was just like, oh, crap. I am done now. Because um, it was pretty close up until then. Like, I think he had the lead. And then I took the lead. And then it was tied. And then we did a throw it up round. And I think he, I think he hit nine home runs in that round to get 11 or something like that. It was crazy. So the answer is 16 total, 5 plus 11. John Penfold won. My wife verified that. Send an email, and you can get all those four cards sent out to you tomorrow in the mail. And my wife's going to do the package. All I have to do is slap a stamp and an extra ounce stamp on there, and that's it. I'm trying to make it easier on myself. All right, so this next one is from Jeffries. Jeffries is from Missouri. Let's check this one out. There's a note in here. Let's check it out. It's um, just check it to make sure there's no address and there is no address. It says, I'm 13 years old and just started getting into collecting in August 2018. Not too long after that, I saw your videos and I've been watching ever since then. I grabbed some Pirates cards, some rookie cards, and an autograph. 
I saw your video where you were drawing on old cards, so I sent you a Dave Rigetti card, thinking that you could turn it into a Crave Spaghetti. And we have a $5 super chat. It says, speaking of the video, this is from Incredible CJ Collectibles. I had a dream last night of playing a home, wiffle ball home run derby. I need to stop watching so much YouTube. Hashtag card crew. Thank you very much, Incredible CJ Collectibles. I really appreciate that. Hope everybody will check out your channel. You what? You gotta. The kids keep jumping here, and they're yelling. All the kids are awake. You're All right. Well, it says I am a huge Cardinals fan. So if you can send me any Cardinals autos or relics, they will be much appreciated. Levi Jeffries. Let's check out these cards. All right, we have on the top Will Craig. We've got Alan Hansen rookie card. Will Craig was a top draft pick for us a few years back. Andrew Lambeau. Corey Seager rookie card. That is a good one. James Paxton rookie card. Kevin Pillar rookie card. Austin Meadows uh, chasing autos. You're going to have to talk to my wife about that one. I, I literally have no idea. She's in charge of all that. So I don't know if she messed up. Send her an email and she can be the one to uh, uh, email back um, John Penfold and say that she messed up. Scott Kingery, June Calhoun. That must be a, a name variation. Willie Calhoun is his. Wait, is that Willie Calhoun? Yeah, Willie Calhoun. Pretty cool. Then we have Reese Hoskins rookie card. Jordan Luplo autograph. He's now with the Indians organization. Josh Bell pink parallel card. Then we have Johnny Cueto. Garrett Cole. Jose Tabata. Then we have a Yasiel Puig and a Dave Rigetti, which you said changed to something spaghetti. So let's pick a, a few cards to give away. Um, let's see here. Again, my wife is in charge of that. I'm, I really can't see any of it. So we're gonna do Reese Hoskins. You have to work it out with her. And I don't have her right now because she's up dealing with the kids. We're about ready to do another round of giveaway. Well, it doesn't look like I'm very good at high now. They can tell you. I can't do a giveaway without somebody here to verify. Anthony with a $10 super chat to see if you can squeeze in the video of going through that box tonight. Thank you very much, Anthony. Um, we'll see how much time we have left. And um, we're having a really tough time here with the kids. I don't know why they're all up out of bed. Go back upstairs. I'm supposed to be watching Evie. Well, go upstairs and play with her. She should be in bed. That's the bad thing about um, doing live streams. You can't really like stop and like go and yell at them or put them back to bed. So um, that's why you hear them in the background right now. All right, what we're going to do, I'm going to just give these two away. I'm going to be on my own here. Um, I'm going to have to try to make it a little bit harder. We're going to do a... Um, it's just going to be the first one that I see. I'm going to show you a card, and the first person to correctly identify the player will win these two cards, a Reese Hoskins and Corey Seager. So I'm going to go back to Anthony's box... I'm gonna choose out some junk wax cards, or probably just one junk wax card, and you tell me who it is. The first person to give me the correct answer will get the card. Let me find somebody that um, is easy to identify, but not too easy. Someone that people have heard of before. This guy was pretty good in his career. Um, don't wanna, like Sandy Alomar Jr. would be way too easy. All right, we'll do this one. I'm gonna show you a piece of the card. The first person, if you're, can you see? My wife is back. This is what we're looking for, this guy. Showing her the card. First person to say that gets the gets the uh, two cards. So here we go. <laughs> my screen, like, turns pages. They're already guessing. Here's the card, so you can see. Has a little bit of gray right there. Well, a $50 super chat from 357 MAGA. 
Let's pause everything. It says, I was the starting catcher for the Pirates from 1996 until 2004. I finished third in Rookie of the Year voting and made uh, the All-Star, three All-Star teams. I was traded to the Oakland Athletics after the 2004 season for Arthur Rhodes and Mark Redman. Who am I? That's Jason Kendall, man. That's an awesome one. $50 Super Chat, 357 MAGA. Thank you very much for that. I should have you guys start to, uh, maybe, maybe you guys can start um, sending my wife some, um, I don't know, hints and stuff, and we can use them in the next one. So basically all I'm looking for is who is this guy? It's not George Bell. Does that help? You got it yet? We got a winner yet? There we go. Kelly Gruber is, I, I saw a few, a bunch of them started coming up. Do you have the winner? My wife is verifying because a lot. Kelly Grubert or whatever, give it to them. They're probably typing so fast. Who's the winner of these two rookie cards? Raptors, Raptors fan, you're the winner. Jabsfamilygiveaways.com. I'm going to sign your card there. Just kidding. Raptors fan, send my wife an email address with your name, Raptors fan, and also your shipping address. We'll get those out to you. Thank you very much. And uh, good guess on the Kelly Gruber. Who even remembers Kelly Gruber? I remember Kelly Gruber. Um, he was a pretty decent player for a few years, though. Else said and his hair in the back. He, he, we got the same hair. Me and Kelly Gruber have the same hair in the back. Yeah, somebody else agreed with me. Raptors fan. So I'll put those cards. Send. Raptors, Raptors fan said get it to the mic. We don't have Micah's address, so um, send it to Raptors fan, and he can send it to Micah because uh, we're getting too complicated now. JB Sports Card says, I haven't won yet, but thanks for these giveaways. Maybe you will win if we do something Mets related because JB's is the Mets fan around uh, the card crew and the card community. So thank you very much. Check out his channel, by the way. It's got an awesome channel. So Kelly Gruber, also this card has some damage on it. So I think I'm just going to put that card on the floor for one of the kids to play with. All right, next we've got this package. See if I can find it here. This is a light package, very light. It is from Jeff Mooney. Jeff Mooney. Inside we have a note with some bubble wrap. gonna cut this open and let me check out the note first to slide it on out of here all right it says I I may just get into collecting Cubs cards or just rookies my email is below please email me how to get in on your breaks I love the 80s stuff well enjoy keep up the great vids Jeff Mooney, I'll keep your email hidden so uh, people don't pretend to, uh, I don't know, send you stuff or whatever. Oh, there's the front of the card. It says, hi, enjoy your videos and heard you are a fan of this guy. So I picked this up for you. I hope you enjoy this card. I hope everything goes better for you health-wise. My son also has a major medical disease. I know it sucks. I used to be a big collector thinking about getting him into the hobby again and you are a big Cubs collectors or just into rookies. And the breaks, I put those on Patreon, uh, my Patreon page, which is linked in a lot of the descriptions of the video. So thank you very much uh, for writing to us. And let's see who this is. Let's do a little, like, reveal again. Um, it is a Daniel Norris autograph patch card. Very nice. Triple threads Daniel Norris. Back when he was with the Blue Jays, Daniel Norris is getting a shot this year uh, with the starting rotation for the Tigers since they're pretty much uh, disseminated right now, or decimated, I should say. 
completely decimated, and uh, Daniel Norris is now pitching for them. 38 out of 50. Thank you very much for that one. Danny Norris had the same kind of cancer that I battled this winter. Maybe one day I will meet him. So, Jeff, thank you very much for that. That was a quick one. So, let's get to the next one. This one is from The Fawns. The Fawns. Let's check it out. Tom Pagnozzi. I remember Tom Pagnozzi. Catcher for the Cardinals. I don't know why, but he always annoyed me. I don't know if he was a pirate killer or what. Oh what? Are yeah, they're both. He gets the Hoskins the and the Seeger. The That's up to you. I told him to sort it out with you. We have a $5 super chat from Mateo Arena says, I'm a huge fan of your channel and was wondering if you had any extra San Francisco Giants cards that I can have. Thank you. Um, thank you very much for that $5 super chat. Uh, I hope everyone will check out your channel. I do have Giants cards, but offhand, I don't have them right now on me uh, to send your way. Um, maybe if there's, uh, I don't know, a Giants card in here, we can send your way. All right, let's read this note. It says, Dear Eric, this is my first contribution to Fan Mail Friday. It isn't much since I've only just started collecting again, but there may be something worthwhile that can fill a request from the community. It says, There's no need to send anything back to me. I hope as my collection grows, I'll be able to send more and more better stuff. I want to say thank you for not only helping me rekindle my interest for the hobby, but rekindling my love of the game of baseball. We're only a few months apart in age, so we followed baseball and collected cards during the same era. I stopped collecting about 1998 and ended up selling all my cards and baseball memorabilia the following year. I wish now that I had not done that, but I was young, newly married, and I needed the cash. Soon after, I ended up moving overseas and living in Australia for many years. That's pretty cool. In fact, 1% of my subscribers are from Australia, which is pretty surprising to me. I lost touch with the game during that time because baseball was not a big sport there, but it seems to be growing. When my family and I moved back to the United States, I just didn't have the time I needed to follow the sport. Now that my children are older and more independent, I find myself having the time to watch and follow my Braves again. I found your videos by chance and immediately wanted to start collecting again. It makes me feel young. The thing I enjoy most about your videos is how you focus more on the fun of collecting and less on the monetary value of the cards. Keep up the great work, and I hope the Pirates have a great year. Uh, coming into today, they're 500, so they had an eight-game losing streak, which knocked them out of first place and down into fourth, but they're doing okay. Um, it says, sincerely, the Fawn. So let's see what the Fawn sent us. We have a stack of, oh, Tommy Aaron, Hank Aaron's brother. That is a nice card. That's really cool. Somebody wrote a number on the back and the word yes, which happens from time to time with cards from the 60s. I know you guys like your vintage cards like I do, so we're going to put that one out for a giveaway. We got a Frank Thomas 1991 Tops. That's his second year card. Donnie Baseball with a $5 Super Chat says, Hey, Eric, thanks again for that 1980 Tops break last night. That was great. Can't wait to get my Yount, Bench, and Smith cards. Yeah, you had a great pack. That was probably the best pack of the night. Jeff Bagwell, Barry Bonds, Mariano Rivera. That's a nice one. Mickey Mantle is a good one. Kershaw Pujols, Mark McGuire Highlights, Duke Snyder, Chipper Jones, Kyle Ripken Jr., John Smoltz, Greg Maddox, Kyle Ripken again, Schmidt, Mike Schmidt from the uh, Reading Phillies. I guess he, what's he doing? Like managing or something? I don't know. Ken Griffey Jr., Upper Deck. That's 1990 Upper Deck. That's a second year card. We'll give that one away. That's a good one. Barry Bonds. Jeff Bagwell, rookie card. Let's throw that one in the pot. Tony Gwynn, 86 tops. Uh, Barry Bonds, Barry Bonds. Chipper Jones, rookie card. Let's throw that one in the pot. Uh, Frank Thomas, this is an obscene card. A lot of people um, rank this as one of the, uh, I don't know, if you ever see videos or stories about obscene cards, this one always gets it just because he is flicking off the camera down there. And I did the same thing in 1994 Top Stadium Club. There's a Ricky in there. I'll have to 
Someone said a Ricky. Oh, that's this is this card's worth like five cents. It's not really worth anything. So I want to give you the best cards. Uh, you said a super chat that I missed. Chasing Donnie Baseball. Yeah, I saw that one. Thank you for that super chat again. Everyone check out Chasing Donnie Baseball. All right, so let's give these away. We have a Chipper Jones rookie card. I think that book's for like, I don't know, what, four bucks? I don't really keep up with Beckett too much. Jeff Bagwell rookie card. These are 1991. Um, I'm trying to give away some better cards. I'm, I'm Ricky Henderson five cent cards. Probably, you know, I mean, I guess it's cool and stuff, but I'd rather give away some cool. Like I probably have like 30 of that Jeff Bagwell card and maybe like 15 of that um, Chipper Jones. So I appreciate the cards that you sent, but I want to make sure that they get as much appreciation as possible. Um, Ken Griffey Jr. second year card and also. Uh, Tommy Aaron, that's Hank Aaron's brother, 1963 tops. So those of you that don't have a lot of older cards, this is your shot to get one. So let's do another baseball card. Guess the baseball card and uh, see how well you guys do with that. We're using Anthony's box, which is just absolutely overflowing with stuff. So much stuff that I cannot even like... Get... Wow, there's some good stuff in here too, Anthony. You weren't kidding. All right, let's do... You want to do a newer one or an older one? I'm trying to think. I got a lot of older ones, and there's also some newer ones here, too. Let's do a newer one. All right, here's the player we're looking for. Show my wife. That's the answer. So you're going to look for that and tell me who got this first. And, of course, people are already guessing. Yeah, I know. It was making it possible. You're making it harder on my wife. You didn't even see the card yet. If I didn't show the card and they guessed it, then just disqualify them. That's not fair. All right, so here we go. We'll do a newer card. If you get it right, you get all four of these cards. It's a newer one, so here you go. I'm just going to show you a little bit at a time. So you can see that it is a Topps card. You can see that it is a shiny refractor there. Some people are probably looking through their tops cards to figure out who it is. Now we might start to get the right answer because we can see the player. Chris Davis, Jose Canseco, Mark McGuire. Wow, you guys don't know this guy yet? Is it Jackson? I can't see them. No, no, I'm not seeing all the comments. I still don't see the right answer, but I mean, it might have already there. I see one now. Ramon Lariano. This guy has an absolute cannon. I didn't want to make it too easy because I could have picked Javier Baez or Corey Kluber or something like that, but I wanted to give you guys, it was a little bit harder, but somebody that's in the major leagues right now, he's playing right now against the Buccos. This guy is going to win probably some gold gloves in his career. He's got an amazing arm. I see him on the highlights all the time, gunning guys down, throwing them out at the plate on the fly from like 321 feet away. Brett G with a $2 Super Chat says, I ate five pieces of pizza and I'm on a diet. Well, Brett, that's just your cheat day. So, um, you know, just get back on it, uh, you know, tomorrow or whatever. Don't worry about it. So Ramon Laureano is the answer, and I'm going to leave it up to my wife to tell me who is the winner. I wish there was a way that I could have this all up at once there. The way this is set up is not Just waiting on the winner. You know you can scroll with use two fingers on the mouse pad. Yeah, I know, and then it like jumps it, so it's not worth it. All right, while well, she figures that out, <laughs> I guess I'll move to the next package. I need a, like a whole staff in here to like assist. I, I want to say they the Windex for the Windex Are you sure? Because I don't want to have to go through the no, whole. No, I'm not sure because your computer. All right, we have um, a postcard sent to us. Morning, Joe. Um, 426.19. 
It's a postcard sent to me. It's um, patreon.com slash paint postcard. So if you like paint postcards, I guess, check it out. Really no note there. But um, Chris Maney says, Gary Sanchez cards for me. Chris, if we see any coming out of here, I'll put one aside for you. Very nice. Uh, thank you for the postcard. And let's go on to the next package. We still have a few left here. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. We've got, got five left. Looks like one of them's a giant hulking box. Next, this one's from Deacon Steam Black. Yeah, it's definitely JG Windex. JG Windex. You won this lot of four rookie cards. JG Windex. I'm just going to put your name on there. Pass these over to my wife. She's going to get your information. Mm -hmm. Jab's family giveaways at gmail.com. Give her your name and also your mailing address, and we'll toss this in the mail tomorrow. It'll be pretty easy just to throw a stamp on there. Uh, yeah, I saw the super chat from Chris looking for Sanchez cards. Everyone sub to Chris's channel. Now let's see what's in here. This is from Deacon Steenbeck. So it says on the back, it says, Do not bend. All right, it says, Dear Jabs family, I am eight. My name is Deacon. I have been watching your videos for a year now. I have a sprained thumb. So sorry for the bad handwriting. I would like a twins relic back. Sincerely, Deacon S. I don't know if I have any twins relics. I think I might have an autograph somewhere. And it says, P.S. Love your videos. Keep doing them. Thank you very much. Let's see what is in here from Deacon. He's got a sprained thumb, just like uh, Austin Meadows. I think he has the same condition. And he sent us a couple 2019 Tops cards. And they're Buckos cards. They're not 2019. 2017. Tyler Glass now. Pittsburgh Pirates. Yeah, that's a 2017. This is a 2019. 2019. Austin Meadows, Legends in the Making. And uh, Trevor Williams, 150th. So thank you very much, Deacon, for the uh, Pirates cards. The majority of your people said 877 cash now. So you messed that one up? Well, it looks like my computer's not right because I didn't even get an answer from him. So how am I supposed to do that when I looked, I looked through all of This was supposed to be fun. It's ending up <laughs> being very stressful. Very stupid. It's not stupid. I thought you'd be able to just... Be a better you just scroll and see who was the first person to leave the comment. Tim Shea with a $5 super chat. It says, hey, Eric, hope you're well. Came over from John's Fan Mail Friday video. Thank you, Tim. Doing pretty well. Hope you also are doing well on this Friday evening. Thank you for that super chat. All right. So, Deacon, thank you for those. I'm just getting the next packing out package out here. Got a bigger one here from Juke Buds. Let's check this one out. Juke Buds. They sent us some Juke Buds. Was it last Fan Mail Friday? We get 10% off. Why do you cut the envelopes? Because I do not want to like tear at them and knock the camera over. This is the way the setup is. If um, there's a little bit of I don't know, resistance. I could knock the whole tripod over and then that would not be good. All right, inside, this is from Juke Buds. And it says jukebuds.com code jabs for 20% off. Now, Juke Buds, um, I wore these when they were cutting the, when I was cutting the grass. They sent me a pair last. Uh, fan Mail Friday. It says, Hey Eric, we at jukebuds.com were so excited to watch you open our last package on Fan Mail Friday that we had to send you one of everything on our website. Enjoy these headphones. Give them to your family and friends. Give them away to fans. Do whatever you want with them. If you want to give them away, we will pay for the shipping to your fans. Just DM us on Twitter at JukeBuds. Also, we have upped the code JABS from 10% to 20% off. 
So code JABS now gives 20% off all orders on jukebuds.com. Keep doing you, man. We love you. Now, Juke Buds are just like AirPods. So if you've been thinking about getting AirPods, but you don't want to pay the $150, what? They're telling me to control F. It doesn't do anything on your laptop. <laughs> your laptop doesn't do that. I just press control F. Jukebuds.com. This is a... Uh, cost efficient alternative to the uh, airpods i think that's what they're called airpods or the uh you know the things that go in your ears that don't have the wires hanging out let's see what we got they sent one of everything front wow look at all this stuff we have they got black and white versions of the Duke pods. Let's take these out and show you guys. There's a bunch of different ones in there. Look at all these. So this looks just like the, uh, you can see you plug that into your computer, your USB port to charge it. And uh, inside there are your Duke pods and you take these out and you press these, the button to turn it on, and you hold it in and it pairs to your phone, just turn on the Bluetooth, it's actually pretty cool. So if you want a low cost alternative to uh, the AirPods, you can check out Juke Pods, which is, uh, you know, the, oh, they got different colors. So this one, you got red, for those of you who like red, that's pretty cool, they have different colors, I didn't even realize that. You got gold, so I mean, I, you could even like, match to your favorite team or whatever you like the cardinals you could wear red it looks like we got purple there pretty sick dave winfield used to wear these the airpods or juke pods i don't know if dave winfield was wearing juke pods back in like 1970 whatever 70, 74 might have been wearing headphones but i'm gonna put all these back in there to see what's in the other one those are pretty cool we're definitely gonna have to give some of these away i'll give one to my wife so you can wear them on your walks or when you're working out give them all away but you're always looking for your your headphones and stuff Oh, by the way, it looks like they have the prices on there, too. Colored juke pods are only 15 bucks. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Um, then we have Star Buds. I'm just going to... I know some of you are saying, get back to the baseball cards. We'll get back there, but if someone sends me a bunch of stuff, no matter what, I'll, I'll still... These are... They, I guess they clip in your ears. Star Buds, 29 bucks. I'm gonna have to probably just do a, like a, I don't know, some kind of like giveaway where you just comment or something. I'm not gonna give them away right now. Aspie says I get, I use these all the time. Ultimate Buds. Ultimate Buds, this is a $50 version. So this is uh, Ultimate Buds. I, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the tangle is um, kind of annoying. So I'm, all the kids in my high school have earbuds. So if you are like between the ages of 14 and 18, you've already uh, taken the, the uh, plunge on earbuds or Juke Buds. Then we have Juke Buds Plus. So they have different versions depending on, I guess your, um, they still have the, I don't want to break this. It looks like it still has the factory wrapping on here. So 15 bucks. For the cheapest ones, and it looks like uh, you use code jabs, you get 20% off. So, uh, thank you for sending the fan mail, the Juke Buds. That's a nice contribution and another giveaway that I can do in a future video. I'll probably just do something like leave a comment and uh, you'll be able to win some uh, Juke Buds. I don't want to spend too much time, I don't want to be here till like midnight. Um, but, Juke Buds, thank you very much for that package. Hopefully, uh, you get some customers all right we got four packages left and uh maybe we'll find some more stuff to give away here this one's from dallas pym Let's see what is in here 
small envelope, but you never know. Sometimes the best stuff is in these small envelopes. Inside we have a note, which I will take off video just in case it has an address. It says, Thanks again for your videos. My six and eight year old son and I have really enjoyed watching your videos and building our own collection after so many years of not doing so. I'm going to send you and your family something from my work soon, so keep an eye out for it. But for now, here's some Pirates cards and Rookies that I thought you would enjoy. Also, I don't play video games, so maybe you could show the codes on a video for some folks to use. I'm trying to collect some Rookies of Red Sox players. So if you have JD Martinez, Jackie Bradley Jr., and honestly, any current or past players you can spare, that would be great. My wife moved, my wife, and, my wife and I moved 12 years ago, and I sold my entire collection to pay for moving expenses. So we are starting from square one. Keep up the great work, Dallas. Thank you very much, Dallas. So Dallas says he sent us some show codes. I'm going to show those right now. So if you are on MLB The Show right now and you're watching this live stream in the background, I've got some free packs for you. I'm just going to flash them up on the screen, and you can... Take these packs because I am done playing the show 18. There's actually a lot of them here. So it looks like there's a lot. You're going to have a lot of codes. So get your PS4 fired up. And get ready to type them in. First person to uh, put the code in will get those the uh, 10 free packs. There's one, two, three, four, five. So here you go. Five MLB the show codes. I'll go through them. You can pause it and so that... If you see the show code, pause it and take it. We got the show code 18. There you go. We got 17. If anyone's still playing 17, there's your code. Go ahead and use it on PlayStation. We got another one for 17. There you go. Pause it and use it. Uh, we got another one. Pause it, use it. That's for 18. We got more mail. Pause it, use it. Yeah, we usually have them asleep, but um, it is pretty hot here. Our upstairs, we have we have a second furnace in our attic. We have two zone heating in our house. The second furnace slash air conditioning in the attic is not working. It's broken, so I have to uh, put in a service request and have that fixed soon. Hopefully, I don't need another uh, a new AC. That's probably going to be like seven thousand dollars to get that fixed. So I'm hoping it's just uh, maybe needs Freon or something like that. Here's the cards that were in there. Some Pirates cards. Key Brian Hayes is a good one. Tyler Glass now. Josh Harrison. And rookie debut of Jameson Tyone. Very, very nice. Thank you very much for those cards. And also the show codes. I'm sure somebody was uh, using those codes and got some packs. Hope you get some good cards out of there. All right, we got big boxes left. The last three are big, big, big boxes. And uh, this one comes from a Cubs fan. I know this name. This is from Matt Streets. He's a big time Cubby fan, and he's sent to us before. So just give me a minute so I can get this open. Sometimes these boxes take me a little while to get open, and then I'll pick some cards out of here to give away. Hopefully it's some stuff that you guys will want. And um, we'll see what we get. Hopefully the uh, little one is not going to be too noisy. Elsa, get down. we got to get Elsa back in her crib. She has some fun that come in here. She's going to smell her bed. But the, she was always so good in the crib. Maybe we can get her like a day bed and just like blockade the one side so she doesn't get out. You should just get the door things to work so they can't open their doors if you block them. All right. Inside here, Rob Rundle says, redeemed. You're welcome. You can um, hopefully use all those. Inside, we have a bunch of cards from Matt, including... A blaster box of 2019, which has been closed up. So there might be some good ones in here. Just look at the cross section of this. I can tell these are 90s cards. I see 91 Fleer. It looks like 91 score peeking out at us. We'll go through and see what we have. Yep, there's 93 Donruss. 
90 score, 91 Don Ross. So a bunch of cards from this era. Usually not real popular, but we'll see if there's any good Hall of Famers in here quickly. Um, I know some of you really hate this era of cards just because they're so overproduced. So I won't spend too much time just seeing if there's any Hall of Famers or rookies in this stack of about 100 that I just grabbed. Jose Lean, Tim Wakefield. All right, we'll skip over these ones. Mostly commons, but some people do like their commons. Let's check out this one. There might be some cool stuff hiding in this blaster box that has been taped down. Let me just take this off the screen so I don't knock it over. Try to get it open. All right, let's see what we got. Literally nothing. It says, for Eric Jabs from Cubs fan Matt Enjoy. Uh, here's the good ones. This is some newer stuff. I know we like our newer stuff, so we'll go through this one. The uh, cards of the 90s were more or less filler to keep these cards from moving about and getting messed up. Uh, we got a Daniel Norris autograph national treasure patch. That is nice. Check that one out. Thank you for that. Daniel Norris, it's out of 99. Six of 99. Let's go through these and pick a few out. How about we start off with Lou Gehrig. Rookie history, Clayton Kershaw. 2000 and, what is that, 2008 Tops update. Um, Paul Goldschmidt. I'm looking for, like, rookie cards and stuff that has some value. Obviously, some of you might like these players. Let's skip over the uh, junk wax. Here we go. Victor Robles. I need to. I wish my brother was in here because he's the moderator. He, he could just like post who won and watch at his house. We got some Bowman from 2019. Still trying to find the most viable card in here to uh, give away. Right now, it might be that Clayton Kershaw rookie history card. Um, looking for rookie cards. So this 2019 Don Ross. Um, some sport flicks. Cody Bellinger, Willie McCovey. I don't know. What do you guys think the most viable card is in here? Here's some Topps Heritage 68 design. I'm leaning towards the, right now giving away that um, Clayton Kershaw. I think that might be the best one, even though it's a rookie reprint. Those are still pretty awesome. Corey Kluber, who just fractured his arm. Carlos Correa. Paul Goldschmidt. Chris Sale, who's 0-5. Giancarlo Stanton. We're just going to have to start picking out some of the uh, stars here, I guess. Although I'd like to find something worth a few bucks to give you guys. Let's see here. We've got some 2018 Topps cards. Maybe there'll be an Acuna in here that we can give away. Or an Otani. Or Bryce Harper. I guess we'll throw him in there. He's That probably books at, what, a buck. On Arnado. I don't know. Cody Bellinger. We'll put that one in there for now. He's uh, leading the league in hitting. I think he came into today hitting 425. Also leads the league in dingers. 95 Fleer is the worst ever, says the Fawns. We'll have to see where I stand on 95 Fleer. Matt Car or Matt's Cards Breaks with a $5 Super Chat says, Thank you for all the great content. Huge Orioles fan. Just completed 1960 Topps Orioles set. Doing all Orioles top sets. Can you help with any extra? Uh, thank you very much for that Super Chat. If you've got Orioles cards from any year, hit up Matt's Cards Breaks and help him out. Um, I don't have too much stuff from um, 70s, 60s, and on back. Most of my stuff is from the 80s and 90s, unfortunately, which there's just tons and tons of stuff out there. All right, let's see. Did I already go through this stack? I think I did. I already went through that stack. So I think I went through everything. 91 Fleer is pretty bad. I do agree with that. I don't want to give away my position on... Um, how I feel about certain sets. 
looks like this is the last stack that I was looking for. I put them aside. I'm trying to get to give you the most valuable cards out of here. Steven Strasburg just struck out, what, his 1,500th batter, I think? I think he was the fastest ever in terms of innings pitched to get there. All right, let's give these away. I think um, Goldschmidt, Herrera. These four, some stars. Holy cow! Rob Rundle ties the all-time record with Mighty Goat with a $100 Super Chat. Holy cow. Thank you very much, Rob Rundle. Let's read this. It says, whenever you're back in Cincy, which probably will be sometime this summer, Shoeless Joe's is the place to go. Pulled a Mickey Mantle game used back card from 2006, tops numbered four of seven. That is like the hit of a lifetime. That's crazy. Rob Rundle with a $100 super chat. Everyone, take a second and click on Rob Rundle's $100 super chat. Click go to channel and give him a sub for that. Thank you very much, Rob. Shoeless Joe's is the place to go. I'm going to have to go back there. I'm thinking about doing a series sometime in the summer or winter where my brother and I just go to a different state for a weekend or so and just hit up a bunch of card stores and, um, you know, kind of work with the card stores or bring the business, be like, hey, um, we got a channel with like 26,000 subs. Is it okay if we do a video here and um, show off what you got? And I mean... I wouldn't ask for payment or anything. The payment would just be, I don't know, maybe they'd cut me a good deal on cards or whatever, but we'll see. That's an idea that I have for maybe this winter. So definitely we'll be checking out Sheila's Joe's sports cards if they'll have us. And um, sounds like a great place to go to. I hit up one card store in Cincinnati last time I was there, and it was really awesome. I got a bunch of wax boxes for like $5 a box. Matt, thank you for those cards. Let's give these stars away right now. These four. Let's do another guess the player game. I like guess the player because it's a little harder for you guys. You can't just like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of you guys know my YouTube videos inside and out. You probably know them better than I do. All right, let me go through Anthony's box here. Oh, some of the cards are falling out of that slit in the side of the box. All right, I want to make this one maybe a little bit harder, but not too hard. He's got a lot of cards in here, so we're kind of incorporating his box still. All right, this is this is a good one. I like this one. I found the card that I want to use. That's that's your job. I can't I can't do both of them. This is the name. Like I said, I only get like, I only get, I only get like three comments at a time that's shown. If there's a bunch that show, then I, it doesn't show them. All right. A super chat from Randall. What was that? Raul Delgado. Raul says bought two gems of the game, got two cut autos. Raul Delgado with some big hits there. That's awesome. Gems of the game so far, I've only seen. Basically, um, I don't, I don't want to say crap, but not good stuff coming out of there. All right, here we go. You guess the card, you get these four cards. All right. Chris Sale. Um, I mean, you've already seen them. Rookies and Stars set. Giancarlo St Stanton, that's a Spectra from Chronicles. A Bryce Harper um, from Topps Holiday and Legends in the Making, Cody Bellinger. So here you go. Guess the card. You might be able to, I don't know, narrow it down to about 700 guys right now if you can guess what year it is. You got to guess the player. Obviously, that's going to be 89 upper deck. I mean, anyone can see that corner and know that. But here we go. This was out of Anthony's box. Now you at least have a position. Just keep kind of... Going through. First person to say it. So you know that he is a pitcher. It might help to know what team he's on, right? He's on the Phillies. And I see Tony, Tony's Tony got the answer. So I don't know if anyone beat Tony to it, but Kent DeColvey is the answer. 
former Pirates pitcher, uh, closing pitcher. And uh, my wife is running off and leaving me. The kids are screaming. Did you get the winner? But I only see like two or three comments. You're seeing hundreds. I think I saw Tony Black, but I can't see all the comments. My wife is supposed to be doing that. So pick a lesser known guy next time. Sorry, Chad. I thought that Kent Colby would be a pretty good one. Jeremy says it's Tony Black. Thank you for your help. I am without a um, moderator right now. So we're going to go with that. Tony Black, congratulations. Tony Black is a great guy. Big Cubs fan. And um, we're going to give you these ones, Tony Black. Just email my wife your address. I think I have your address somewhat memorized. I know the first three digits because it was the first three digits of my house number growing up. And also I know that I think you're in Cincinnati. Uh, Jabs Family Giveaways at gmail.com. Tony Black, I'll put that in my pile. My brother's here. There's the moderator. We might need your help here, John. I'm just um, doing some giveaways. And uh, Amy has to keep running off and dealing with the kids. And then I can't tell who the first person to get the right answer was. So I can text you what the answer is, and then you can watch for me maybe for the uh, first person. And I missed a super chat that came up here. Um, Rob Rundle with a $50 super chat. So Rob Rundle, thank you very much. It says, I'm a diehard athletics fan, and I couldn't get to my computer in time to comment Ramon Laureano. I was screaming at my TV. You're pro yeah, that one took a while for people to, to get. What I've been doing for the, give the giveaway is I've been just been showing a card and they have to guess the player or giving a trivia question. I think the showing the card one's a little better um, because it's a little harder. I've been just going back and forth between new and old cards. So Rob, thank you once again. That is $150 of Super Chat. Uh, that basically pays for an entire weekend trip for gas and everything to go out to flea markets this weekend or wherever. Thank you very much. My brother, by the way, is the moderator here. He's the guy with the wrench next to his name. Uh, that's why I, I said he can help out with this. Um, he just posted a fan mail video. And if you haven't watched it yet, you definitely need to check out it because it's, it's really funny. Um, I started watching it before we went live. And the intro is uh, absolutely hilarious. You got to check it out. It's, it's a little skit that he sometimes does, him and the mailman. And uh, I burst out laughing when the man was like, yeah, I'm going to go thumbs down all your videos. <laughs> Just sounds like something uh, a uh, creepy mailman would say. All right, this next package is from I don't know who. So they've already blacked out their address, so obviously they're not expecting anything back. But thank you very much for sending this. We'll open this up. We'll choose out some of the better cards to give away and uh, see what we get. Just you have to give me a second to get this open because, um, you know, it's taped on like eight different sides. And I want to be careful so I don't cut through the cards. All right, got it open. We got a note. Let's check out the note first. Make sure there's no address there. This is from Dan E. Dan E. has been in some of our recent breaks. It says, I enjoy your videos. Enclosed are a few random autos, rookie, and cards I thought you might enjoy. Also is a ball that I felt that if you did not have would fit well in your collection. I have a question I am going to ask of you, brother. What is a true rookie card? How do you define it? I have heard others say considered their rookie card and just wanted your perspective. Thanks for the answer. I hope you enjoy the items. Feel free to keep them or pass them along to someone that enjoys them. For me personally, um, I guess the true rookie card would be whenever you see this logo, um, that is the true rookie card. Obviously, Brad Keller has a first Bowman card out there from a few years ago, but this would be considered the true rookie card or the official rookie card. So that is the official rookie card logo. So that's how I think of it. If it has that RC on there, I consider it a rookie card. Uh, so thank you very much for the stuff that you sent. Let's check these out. Brad Keller hates fun. Yeah, he pegged um, Anderson for celebrating. Oh, look at this. This is a 1994. 
94, I think it's 94, it's either 94 or 06, All-Star Game Ball. That is really, yeah, it's 1994. Check this one out. Uh, All-Star Game Balls, if you've never seen one or caught one, the All-Star Game Balls that they use, they always take the host team and they use the colors of the host team in the stitching. So this was from uh, Three River Stadium. You can see the logo there. And so it has black and gold as the stitching, which is pretty sweet. Like this year out in Cleveland, the stitching will likely be red and blue. And then they'll have a special little logo there. We have a 279 Super Chat from Boots Kennedy. He says, great channel. I just busted best box of my life. Thank you very much, Boots, for that Super Chat. And uh, everyone check out his channel. Zach Campbell caught that ball. He might have. Zach Campbell was catching baseballs way back since, I think he started in like 1990. So let's check this out. He said there was some autographs and stuff in here. Let's go through these and give some of them away and pick out some that I need for my personal collection. Looks like uh, Tony Black, you got to send to this, not Jabs fam. I just got a notification on my phone. My wife is in charge of all that. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, look at this first one. I need this one. Roberto Alomar, the rookies, 1988 Donruss. I do not have this one. That is a nice looking card. Oh, that's pretty cool. Who made that? Someone made, um, thank you to whoever sent that Jabs family picture there. Isaac, you are have some good skills there. Carlos Delgado, 1993 Upper Deck. Derek Jeter rookie card at Derek Jeter rookie card. Cody Bellinger rookie card. Well, Leaf rookie card. Then we have a 1993 Upper Deck. A Jose Canseco 1987 Tops Gold Cup card. That's a sweet one. 86 Tops traded as uh, his true rookie, but this is his first rookie in a uh, regular set. Ozzie Guillen, 86 Tops. Rookie card of Pirates, 1993. Um, just walking along the banks of the Allegheny there. Then we have an Andy Van Slyke Pirates card, a 1985 Andy Van Slyke, an Andy Van Slyke rookie card. Actually, two of them. And I don't have this one. 84 Don Ross, Andy Van Slyke. I got the 80. I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. I definitely have this one. I have the 84 Fleer that I picked up at a flea market, but I don't have the 84 Don Ross. So that's awesome. I needed this one. Thank you for that. That is very, very nice of you. That Derek Jeter rookie card is sick. Let's see what else we have in here. We got a Shed Long. Shed Long with the Reds. I think he got traded to the Yankees, and I think he might have been shipped off to Seattle. He's somewhere, but he's a top prospect. It's an autograph card, Shed Long. That is really nice. Um, autograph card. And then we have a Jason Groom. Tape down there, autograph. Very nice again. And now we have a, uh, I can't read the name, Boston Red Sox. Roniel Rades, it looks like. Pretty cool. And actually, two of them. And then a Francisco Arcia autograph cards and a Carson Kelly autograph card. So, a couple good ones. I think the best card in here is the Derek Jeter rookie card. So, let's give that one away right now. And um, let me also pick out, what else do we want to give away? The best run, one in here? I don't know. What do you guys think the best uh, card in here is? We got some prospects in here. I don't know much about a few of them. I'm trying to think which one has the most value, value to give away. Carson Kelly, he's with the Diamondbacks now. Why don't we give away Carson Kelly? He's probably the most established out of all of them. So we'll give away these two cards. We'll break this into two separate giveaways. That was a very nice package, by the way. Thank you very, very much for the ball. And also, those cards are very sweet. Um, you're going to make someone really happy with that Derek Jeter. That is awesome. A couple of those ones I'm definitely going to keep for myself. But I'm going to give these two away. How do the giveaways work? We're just giving away right now. So let's give away Derek Jeter. All you have to do is leave a comment to uh, get him and leave the correct answer to a comment. So I'm going to... Start off by picking a card, and there's a bunch of screaming upstairs. That's really annoying to us. Maybe you should live stream at your parents or your brothers. 
I don't know why they're still up. All right, let's see. And we have, holy cow, I was looking down to find a card to show, and Rob, with a $150 super chat, he takes the lead of everybody. $300 at super chat from Rob Rundle. I have somebody working on a spreadsheet of all the super chats because I want to do something at the end of the season where I give something back to you guys that have super chatted. And, um... Rob, you're just, you're probably near the top of the list now. Thank you very much, Rob. That is a new record for Super Chats in any live stream for a grand total, for an overall live stream, and also from any individual person. Rob, thank you very much. Um, let's go through and read this one. It's going to be on your screen for a long time. It says, for real though, I wanted to donate for a while, but never got around to it. Thank you for getting me back into card collecting. Life's been crazy with ups and downs, but seeing your passion toward everyone in the hobby is gratifying. Rob, thank you so much for the super chats. Let's, um, that makes me want to just keep giving away stuff all night long here. All right, Rob, you're the man. Uh, let's give away this Derek Jeter rookie card right now. Rob just robbed the super chat record. Rob had an extra zero each time. Rob's a good man. Everyone's subbed to Rob. Uh, great guy. Um, super generous. Um, thank you. I don't, I don't know how many times to tell you thank you, but let's give away this Derek Jeter right now. Um, I'm going to find a card to give away. Let's make this one. Let's make this one. I don't know if I should make it hard or easy. Well, That's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna... to text my brother the answer. I don't know if he's watching right now because I know whenever I'm in live streams, things come up all the time with kids crying or like something happening or this or that. Your brother doesn't have kids. But I mean, he might have other stuff sure, coming up. You never know what someone's oh, up to. We have another super chat. <laughs> Big one. We have another one? Yeah, yeah. I'm just texting my brother right now. All right, here's the card. $21.14 Super Chat. This is from Dream Big Productions. They've sent us a few packages. It says, I hope your children enjoyed the Leapfrog Junior Explorer globe that I sent you last month. Yeah, it's in our um, TV room over here. They play with it all the time. By the way, just curious, what are your children's favorite animals when your children are present? My favorite animals are bats. What would you say their favorite animals are? Olivia likes cats and dogs, and, dogs. And, horses and, bunnies. and horses and bunnies. Basically, they like a lot of different animals, to tell you the truth. Um, thank you very much for that $21 Super Chat. That was very, very generous of you. All right, here we go. We have another Super Chat. And another Super Chat right. from Boots Kennedy says, Thanks for the shout-out. Check out my last upload. Thank you very much. Boots Kennedy. Canadian Five dollar super chat. Um, I'm trying to like delete somebody. I might have accidentally did the wrong person. All right, here we go. If you guess this player, you get the Derek Jeter rookie card. Pretty easy. All right, there you go. So start right there. Braden, I haven't checked my email. I get probably like, I'm not even lying, like 100 emails a day. Um, not a whole lot about wiffle ball, though, so I will definitely um, get back to you when I have some free time, hopefully this weekend. My brother is going to be in charge of telling us the winner. I don't know if you can, uh, you can see the team name, so... $2 Super Chat. Kevin Jones says, Great vid, you capture the spirit of collecting. Thank you very much for that $2 Super Chat. Someone said it. I just saw it pop up. It's just, it's scrolled by so quick. Jeff Juden, my brother is going to post the name of the winner there. Just post their name and I'll write their name on the card and send it over to my wife to uh, get their address. Jeff Juden. Um... 
Did you see who won though, Jono? Uh, who was the first person to say Jeff Juden? That's what we're looking for so my wife can tell me who won. Who the heck is Jeff Juden? Jeff Juden was a number one draft pick by the Astros. And uh, he always used to say, he used to be like really like cocky. We always used to laugh at him because we saw an uh, Justin Stride once. Thank you very much, Jono, for doing that. Justin, you're the winner. But we always used to laugh at Jeff Juden because we saw an interview where he was like being super cocky and he's like, yeah, I'm really good. I can throw about 101. Like 101 was like no big deal. And back then throwing 101 miles an hour uh, was like unheard of. Justin, you are the winner of the Derek Jeter rookie card for guessing the Jeff Juden. Good job. So we'll put that with that and send that over to my wife. Send her an email so she can toss that in your envelope. We'll also do this autograph card. Yeah, I'm, I'm, Joe would always like crack up. Anytime we see Jeff Juden. Next, we're going to give away this Carson Kelly autograph card. St. Louis Cardinals. And uh, we'll switch it up. We'll go a newer card. We did some older, let's do some newer. So, I mean, we have some younger kids in here, some older guys. So if I did all older cards, all the old heads would get it easily. Let's do a newer player. All right, you guess who this is. You get the uh, autograph card. Let me text my brother the answer. All right, here we go. Newer card coming from Anthony's box. There you go. I'll show you that much of it. If you guess who it was, you get the uh, Carson Kelly autograph card. So here we go. You can see that, so you can probably guess the year. So that might help you. I don't know if that tattoo helps at all. So those of you that know your player tattoos and stuff, that might give that away. Trying to keep the name covered. Does that help? It should probably, should probably, be, uh, Aaron Nolan, no. All right, I see at least one. Kirby Yates. I saw a few of them coming up. My brother's going to determine who said it first and post the winning name in the chat. And then you get the Carson Kelly autograph card. You'll just have to send an email to my wife, jabsfamilygiveaways.com. And um, we'll send this on to you. Lots and lots of Kirby Yates answers, but who was first? Natalie Fox got that one. Congratulations, Natalie Fox. And thank you to my brother, The Pass is Alive, for moderating the chat and helping us out. This is running a lot more smoothly. Natalie, go ahead and send your name and address there. My wife will get that shipped out to you. By the way, if you haven't subbed to my brother's channel yet, click on that blue wrench click go to channel and sub to him. Um, last time I checked when I watched his fan mail, he's at like $27.99. So really, really close to uh, 2,800 and would like to see him up over 3,000 soon. Here's our last one of the night. It's a big flat rate box. And let me um, cover the address name there. It's off screen right now, but I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it anyway. It's from Dave Smith, or S-M-Y-T-H, maybe Smythe. This is a big one. So, Dave, thank you for this. You're going to have to give me a second to get this one open. It's um, pretty heavy. So, again, we will go through and pick out some of the best cards, as you saw. Like, I tried to pick the best cards out of that last one, Derek Jeter. I mean, if it's a card that I really need, like that Joe Morgan rookie card, I didn't have, so I had to keep that one. That's going to the PC. But I do have a, I think I have two of that Jeter. So I, I could bear to give that one up to someone that's I'm going to want it more and um, value it more. Yeah, just write Patreon on the uh, envelope and put his name on the envelope. And I'll just toss that in because I think he's got a 15, he's got either a 15 or $25 plan. So I, I'm going to be sending him some newer packs. All right, here we go. Mrs. Jabs is still here. Uh, all right, we have some old Beckett's on top, and we have a note. It says, I'm 74 and enjoy your YouTube channel. I have 
thousands of baseball cards, but with four grandsons, no one wants my collection. That's sad, man. I'm sorry to hear that. I know some kids are into their own thing. A lot of kids just find their own hobbies. I can't believe somebody wouldn't want a collection of cards. That's that's crazy, but I mean, um, I'm sure they have other things and um, they have going on. But anyway, it says, I hope you have use for these magazines. Congratulations on beating cancer. I am fighting prostate cancer. Always look on the bright side of life. Dave, Dave, I wish you the best of luck with your battle. It's not fun. Definitely not fun. Um, just um, keep fighting, man. Thank you very much for uh, the fan mail that you sent. And let's check out what he did send. All right, on top, I don't know if you can see, I'll just pull them off. Uh, we have Beckett's. Lots of Beckett's, and I used to have a whole collection of Beckett's, and I don't know whatever happened to them. I don't know if my mom threw them away. I'm thinking she threw them away or donated them to uh, Goodwill or something. I used to have a ton of Beckett's. Also, used to have a bunch of baseball weeklies that are just disappeared. And this looks like it's all Beckett's in here and magazines. So we'll go through these. And then I'm gonna circle back and give away a couple cards from Anthony's one uh, packaging. Cause I did see some autographs and stuff in there. I'll give away a couple more things tonight before we say goodbye and um, go to bed and get all these, all these kids that have been coming out of the room to sleep. Um, We're just excited because I hear you yelling, hey everybody, so hopeful. Look at all these Beckett's. Let's just go through these and uh, take a trip down Beckett memory lane. We got Legend Sports from 93 with Robin Ventura on the front. We got a Tony Gwynn, Fred McGriff Beckett from 91. I picked that one up at a card show for like two bucks trying to get my Beckett collection back. I used to have this. I don't know what happened to this, but Cal Ripken Jr. Topps Magazine. These are always really, really cool. Next, we have baseball cards. Um, I never bought this one. Then we have Jackie Robinson from 1993, back in July. And then we have a Legend Sports Robin Young. Cal Ripken, 95, Beckett. I could use this in uh, Fan Mail, not Fan Mail Friday, but um, Throwback Thursdays for some prices. Like if I did a box like 93 uh, SP or whatever, I could go back and look up the prices and compare them. Another Beckett, we used to have this one. My brother probably recognizes all these. We used to always buy Beckett every month, no matter what. Frank Thomas from 94. This was the era that we were buying all of them. Patrick? Good night, Patrick. Thanks for watching. Beckett Treat Nolan Ryan. Let's clear some more space. These are nice. McGuire, you might remember this one. The Michael Jordan Beckett from 94. Jim Abbott from 93. Remember, he threw no hitter around that time. Brooks Robinson, Legends of Sports. Jeff Bagwell, 94. So basically, it's these were all the Becketts that, that went um, went missing from my collection. I had every Beckett from like 91 to like 96 or so. And they all just disappeared. Some of these newer ones, like I wasn't buying Beckett in 99. I was out of the hobby by then. Tom Glavin. Uh... Uh, Roger Clemens, Paul Molitor, that's from 94. So that's really cool. It's always fun to look back and uh, see what cards are worth. Like back in 94, Ricky Henderson rookie card was worth 90 bucks, which is actually more than it books for now. It books for $80 right now. Um, and uh, I'm always surprised by how many card shows there were back then. Like you pick one state, takes up like multiple pages for the same, like, New York is just stacked with card shows. Pennsylvania, like, if this was 1994, I'd be able to go to a card show literally every week in, like, in Uniontown, 20 minutes away. And um, there's so many within, like, an hour of me. Like, I can't believe that we weren't going to more card shows back in the day. But, of course, we weren't able to drive. So, I mean, that's, you know, to be expected. So, thank you for all those Beckets. I'm going to toss those in this big box down here. Just write Micah on there, and I'll I'll try to do it. 
I still have to send Micah his um, his box break so I can try to remember to put that in there. I was hoping to not have to like deal with any of that so that it would just, like you put the stamps on them, I take them to the post office and we're done. All right, we're gonna give away some other stuff. So I'm looking through Anthony's box. Anthony sent us so much stuff that I, it's hard to find the good stuff because it might be buried. I'll do our, my best to just take the uh, junk wax cards and I don't want to say like throw them to the side, but that's basically what I'm doing with them. Not throwing them, but setting them to the side. It seems like all the good cards are buried down here. I'm looking for autographs, relics, rookie cards from this box. I'll show you what I'm working on right here. Anthony sent us a super chat and said, if you have time, go through this again, because there might be some good stuff buried in here. Uh, I already found an autograph, and I'm also seeing, what did you say? Yeah, I said, do you remember the submitted art in the old one? I can't understand what you're saying. Submitted art in the old one. Submitted art, oh yeah. <laughs> There's a Barry Bonds 89, Topps card. All these ones from the 80s and 90s, we're just taking them and throwing them in this big envelope. Oh, I see some top-loaded cards. Here we go. This might be what we're looking for. These cards would be good to, uh, you know, all these ones would be good just to donate to, I don't know, like a children's hospital or some kind of, like, youth charity or something where they could take these and learn about the players and stuff like that. I mean, there might be some diamonds in the rough in here, though. You never know. I did see, like, there's there's 2019 cards right here. We're going to go through and pick out some ones. We'll do a couple giveaways right now. And um, let's make it as easy as possible. No switching prizes or anything like that from now on, please. All right, let's see what we have in here. Oh, there's some good ones in here. I think you'll like some of these. There are some good ones in here. I'm seeing some ones that are pretty nice. And I think if you've stuck with us, you're going to like them as well. So we'll... All right, I noticed some top-loaded cards in here. And this Ken Griffey might be one of the worst cards in this stack. out of Because I'm just... I'm not ripping on this card, but there's good stuff behind it. So don't be like, roll your eyes like, oh, that's not even his rookie card. I know it's not his rookie card. A lot of people think it, it is, but... I just put that on top to kind of hide the other ones. There's some good stuff. So Definitive comes out May 29th, so we'll be doing that right around that time frame. They pushed it back. Tom's pushed it back. These are the best cards, I think, in here because he has them top loaded. Frank Thomas rookie card. That's actually the rookie card. Not the no name on front, but we'll be picking some of these to give away here in a second. Um, let's see. Then we have a Nolan Ryan 1984 tops with Art Howe, Astros Leaders. Uh, then we have a Most Viable Players card. This is from 1975 tops. That's pretty awesome. Catfish Hunter, gold card. Shoei Otani Freshman Flash. That's a nice one. A Shoei Otani Topps Chrome rookie card. Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Let's put that aside. And then we have these ones that I think just slipped in there. A Carlton Fisk All-Star card. Actually, two Carlton Fisk All-Star cards. We got two. Let's give one away. Harmon Killebrew, 72 tops. That's a 75 tops, by the way. That's not too long after his rookie card. Uh, where did I get this box? This was sent to us for free by Anthony. Uh, do donating cards. So we're just giving away Frank Robinson, 72 tops. Another Ken Griffey Jr. Gold Cup card. Thurman Munson, 73 tops. Hank Aaron. Roberto Clemente, 75 tops. Michael Jordan, 86 tops design. What is this? It, I'm th thinking this is just a... Um, I don't know, man. I think somebody made this card themselves. That's still pretty cool. Uh, Vada Blue, Tom Seaver, 71 tops, Billy Martin, 71 tops, Derek Jeter, rookie card, and Michael Jordan, rated rookie. 
86 Donruss. What are these cards? Does anyone have any idea what these Michael Jordan cards are? Um, I know Michael Jordan was uh, on the Birmingham Barons in 94, but I don't know if these are actually made or not. They don't look like they're licensed. They don't have the Topps logo. They don't have the Donruss logo. So obviously these cards are not licensed. I'm just thinking that maybe, I don't know, they're older from the old baseball cards magazine says Kevin. That's pretty crazy. Promotional ones. Those, they're pretty sweet. I'm trying to think what else I should give away. How about a Derek Jeter rookie card? I think I'm trying to pick out the best cards here, basically. Uh, what else do I want to give away? Like, I don't have this one, so I want to keep that one. I know I have the Otani, but I don't know if I have the Chrome, so I want to keep that one. I don't have these ones, but I can give away these. Let's start with these ones and give these ones away. The 75 Clemente, I don't have that one, so I want to keep it. If I get doubles of something, I will definitely give it away. But let's start here, and I'm just seeing if there's anything else amongst the common cards in here just that I'm glossed over. Anthony, is there anything else that I'm missing in here? Is there any cards hidden within the 2019 tops that I should be aware of? I think if it was an autograph or something, it would be like at least in the top loader. All right, so here we go. We're going to give these away. We'll just play our game, then we'll be out of here. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's start off with, um, I don't know, which one should I start? Let's start off with Griffey. I'm going to give away this Griffey card, so play my game here. I'm going to show you a card. If you get it right, you win. It's a Ken Griffey Jr. 1989 Tops, or Don Russ. Sorry, I'm texting my brother right now, so I'm not really paying full attention. 1989 Donruss. Books at $8. You can see that it is in pretty good shape. There's no obvious creases, and also there's not a lot of white on the corners. There's the back. You can see never even appeared in a game. So first and last name to win, says my brother. So you have to say their first and last name. So if it was like, if I showed Barry Bonds, you couldn't just say Bonds, you'd have to say Barry Bonds. That's only fair because, you know, it does take a little bit of time to type uh, a full name. Not, you know, like a little, like millisecond, but here we go. The category is new card. My brother will determine who is the winner. Is that this one? That's up to my brother. If, I mean, you should be able to spell this guy's name. Here we go. Start off in the corner, so you can see it's a Topps card. If that helps. You can see that it is a 35th anniversary card. And the guesses are already coming in. You can see part of, I don't know, is that a leg? I think it is. So you can see what team he plays on now. I still haven't seen the right answer. I mean, it might've come up, but I saw one now. Justice Sheffield is the right answer. My brother will go through and determine who said it first. That was a trick question because Justice Sheffield recently was traded this offseason from the Yankees to the Mariners for James Paxton. So he is actually on the Mariners now. So you might not have been thinking of that. Uh, might have tricked you. Um, but I had to try to make it a little bit harder for a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. So there's probably like a couple of hundred entries there. Let's see who my brother determines who the winner is for the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Books at eight dollars. Um, you can I always buy this card whenever I find it. I love this card. Not like having two hundred comments come at once. once. I know it's pretty tough. George Kenneth Griffey Jr. We're just waiting on the winner. While my brother is, can you um make uh, keep an eye on the chat and see if my brother tells us who won. I'm gonna look for the next card. 
Jonathan Lopez got it first. Congratulations, Jonathan Lopez. I'm going to put your name on the card. Jonathan Lopez. I'm not writing on your card. I'm writing on the top loader. Jonathan Lopez, just um, send an email to jabsfamilygiveaways at gmail.com. And um, my wife will get your address, send the address and your name, and she will put that in an envelope, and we'll send that out tomorrow. All right, so we got two more. Next up, let's do this 1975 Tops Carlton Fisk. We got a $2 super chat from 357 MAGA says, get Micah to 300 subs. Trout the Beast 27. There's the back of the card. My wife is uh, not in charge of picking the winner anymore. My brother's doing that. She's um, filling out. She's feeling the emails and filling out the addresses on the envelopes. No, he's just trying to get me mad because I show the little laptop to you guys because he knows, he says I'm out of control tonight. He just wants me to throw the laptop at you. All right, so Chet is trying to uh, cause some marital strife. All right, let me find a card that I can show. I'm trying to think if I should make it a hard one or an easier one. Chat. And we got a super chat from Jonathan Lopez. says, thank you so much for the card for $5. You're welcome. Congratulations on knowing your rookies and also um, your Mariners. All right, here we go. I found a card. It is, a, it's kind of a newer one. I'm going to text my brother the answer. I'm trying to pick guys that, you know, you should know if you're a baseball fan. Can you figure out if Natalie Stuller, because somebody emailed me saying that Natalie didn't want her card, but... We don't, we don't do that. Like, then we're not going to have a winner. Just, either. yeah, I'm, that's too much, like... If Natalie doesn't want the card, we don't know if she doesn't want it or not. So, all right, here we go. This is the card. If you get it right, it's Carlton Fisk. I just sent my brother the text of this player. Super says, show some obscure player from the 80s. Well, Derek Jeter's, this is the most valuable card. I don't know what this book's at. Does anyone know what a Carlton Fisk book's at? Um, I want to say, I don't know, what, six to eight bucks? Yeah, if you're not gonna claim the card, then don't bother like leaving comments. I don't know why somebody would leave a comment and uh, not claim it or say give it to somebody else. That's that uh, we got. It's just it's too much. We got a dollar super chat from Card Collector sixty five. All right, here you go. Here's your card for the Fisk. Show you a little bit of the card so you can kind of narrow it down to the year. See now. All right, so you know it's a tops card. Now you can sort of see what team this person is on. So you know it's not Harper or Weaver or Deion Sanders. A little bit harder because you can't really see the number. Dallas Keuchel's a good guess. Oswald's a good guess. Does that help? Got the face. First and last name to win. First and last name to win. Now you can see part of the letters on his jersey, which makes it even easier. He kind of looks like Mike Fetters, although Fetters was a righty. And we have a winner. I see a couple names coming up in the chat. It's Wandy Rodriguez, former pirate Wandy Rodriguez. Here he's with the Astros. He had some decent years in his career. As you can see, he had some years where he had a sub-4 ERA, and, you know, he was a pretty solid pitcher. Natalie Fox gets it, says my brother. So, Natalie Fox, did you want this one? Because you didn't want the last one. It... Natalie Fox is the winner. So, hopefully, she wants this one because she didn't want the last one that she picked. You got to send your address to my wife. Jabs family giveaways at gmail.com. That one goes to Natalie Fox, 1975 Carlton Fisk. She, she said, Give it to Trout. We're not giving them away. That's not fair to the other people that are trying. So that's.
All right. Um, let's pick the second person. If she doesn't want it, let's get the second person. Please do not guess if you're not going to take the card. That's really not fair to everybody else. Like whoever was second, like it's not fair to them. It's like actually pretty annoying. I think a lot of people are probably annoyed by that. Like I'm annoyed by that. All right, so that just makes everything harder for me because now I have to figure out who the second person was. That, that almost makes me like, I don't know. That's like, why? Like why participate? I already did, Joseph. I already did, that's, that's. All right, we're gonna give away the Derek Jeter. We'll see if we can figure out. Yeah, it really does mess everything up. So Derek Jeter, this is the last card. 1993 tops. Derek Jeter. We're going to go old school and do an older one here. This is the last one of the night. Um, Derek Jeter, 1993 Tops rookie card. CLG custom frames. There we go. CLG custom frames. Thank you, Jonna, for finding that. Jabs Family Giveaway, CLG custom frames. I wanted this to be so easy. Like, I just... CLG, send the address and you got the Carlton Fisk 75 coming your way. Last, Derek Jeter. We're doing an old time player. So here we go. Let me find someone so obscure that you have to be like a diehard baseball fan to know it. Like I'm not gonna pick Jose Canseco or Ozzie Smith. Um, uh, no, not Brett Saberhagen. He's too well known. Tim Shane's Blinks Ben, and he said um, to let him know about the golf balls. Yeah, Tim, I just have to, um, I have tons of golf balls that I can give to, like, sell to you and replace my window with them. Super chat. And a super chat from Sweden. Emil Larson. $20 super chat says, hi from Sweden. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for that super chat. Hopefully everyone goes and subs to your channel. Really appreciate that. I'm just looking for the most obscure player that I can find. We have another super chat. And another super chat from Card Collector 65 JW dollar super chat. Thank you very much. John Smoltz is too well known. Even Lonnie Smith is too well known. Oh, this guy's pretty. Eh, the, Jose Lean is too well known. The Jose Lean thing has been blown up. Um. This guy's pretty obscure. All right, you, let's see here. All right, here we go, last one. I'm gonna send the message to my brother with the correct answer. If you get this one right, you win the Derek Jeter rookie card and uh, we'll send it your, I hope you like this little twist to Fan Mail Fridays. I wanted to start giving back um, some of these cards. People send me so much good stuff. I wanted to send some of the cards that I have doubles of. Like I have a couple of that Derek Jeter and I just wanted to share it with you guys right away. And I mean, it's a thank you for watching. I really appreciate um, you guys tuning in on this Friday night when you could be watching, um, I don't know. What do people do on Friday nights? Watch TGIF on ABC, is that still around? You ever watch TGIF? Family Matters, Step by Step? No, dear. No? When you say TGIF, I think of Friday's restaurants. Oh. All right, here we go. This, if you guess this, you get it. I'm gonna try to go slowly. <laughs> so you can see the year. <laughs> That's a long time. Yeah, my brother and I used to watch Family Matters and Step by Step. I forget what, it, what else was on there. There's a couple other shows that like circled or cycled throughout. Uh-oh, you can start to see the team. We're probably gonna start to get some right answers now. Uh, I'm seeing some good answers. And there he is. 
Someone said it. I saw an answer come up. It's Stan the Man Belinda. I used to actually like Stan Belinda a little bit back in the day just because he threw sidearm and I thought it was pretty cool. Big <coughs> Heck wins it. Big Heck, you are the Derek Jeter rookie card winner. Congratulations on knowing your obscure 1990 baseball players. Um, it's a, a skill that comes in handy from time to time. I actually like doing that whenever I'm doing Tom's Archive Signature Series. Stan Belinda, my mom always used to love him because he was from Huntington, PA, Port Matilda, which is right up the uh, right down the road from where she grew up. We always used to drive through there. So very, very nice. Stan Belinda, big heck, uh, gets that one, the Derek Jeter. So congratulations. Big heck. Big Heck, my brother is uh, verified that Big Heck is the winner. So Big Heck, all you have to do to get your Derek Jeter sent to you. Jabs Family Giveaways at gmail.com. My wife will slap your address on an envelope. And she's saying that we're getting a bunch of people claiming they're the winners, which is annoying. So don't do that or else I'm just going to not be able to do this anymore. Um, put your... Um, address in there big heck and you get the Derek Jeter card so if he just put custom frames whatever and then a, an, an address I'll just send it to him they'll, they'll probably leave it I sometimes people put jabs family on the uh, stuff they send me and it still gets to me so hopefully it gets to them if not all right so now it's time to get all the kids to bed thank you so much for watching everybody um also, thank you to Rob Rundle for leading the league on the Super Chat game tonight. Really, really generous Super Chats. A grand total of $300, Rob. You're a very, very generous guy. Um, thank you again so much. Um, it was fun giving away some of these cards to you guys. Thanks once again to everyone that sent stuff in. Um, that was fun. And um, I'm not sure what video I'm going to post tomorrow. I have a boombox from May that I might do. I have like two ball hawking videos that I have to do that I haven't done yet. Um, I've got last week's uh, flea market finds I still have to do. So lots of different things to choose from. Um, I don't know. So just tune in tomorrow and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button on my channel if you haven't already. Help push us towards 27,000 subscribers. Also, subscribe to my brother. He's getting really close to 3,000 subscribers. The past is alive. He's probably one of the fastest growing channels around here. He went from like zero to 3,000 in like five months, which is a really, really great growth. So um, also check out my brother's most recent video that he just posted tonight. Check out his fan mail. I think you'll like it. He's got a few packages. And uh, thank you to my brother for moderating. Thank you to my wife for going through all the emails and um, sorting through them and addressing these packages. We probably gave away, what, like 10 cards tonight? And it's it's Pretty tough, isn't it? It just you have a bunch. You have you have over twenty five emails, so obviously you did not. Yeah, we have like all these different people trying to claim it, which is really lame, guys. Um, That's actually really making me mad. So <laughs> not as simple as. <laughs> all right. So with that, I'm going to get the kids to bed. Thanks once again for watching, everybody. It is now midnight here, so I've got to get to bed. Um, Brandon, thank you for subbing to my brother and being a Patreon member. My brother also has a Patreon page. Um, for $3 a month, you can watch all of his exclusive Patreon videos and get access to his breaks. Um, my brother is, does a lot of like older breaks. He's doing a 1992 Don Ross case break looking for an elite card or a Cal Ripken Jr. autograph. So he'll probably be doing that one pretty soon. So check out his Patreon. $3 a month is really affordable and uh, you get some behind the scenes content. So um, thank you very much once again, and I'm going to bed.